With this latest judgment, the hopes of over hetero and numbers to compel Germany to compensate the descendants for genocide committed during the war have been dealt another blow. In the application, the two communities wanted the U.S. appeals court to force Germany to pay reparations for damages as well as expropriation of properties including land and livestock from these communities. In addition, the applicants claim their land and livestock were stolen by Germany while the colonial regime also imposed fees, customs, tariffs and taxes on commercial operations in the territory against the communities, with these monies deposited directly into German treasury. Germany, the plaintiffs argue, used these funds to purchase property in the U.S., more particularly in New York. These claims were dismissed by Germany, challenging the jurisdiction of the U.S. Appeals Court to preside over the case. Under the FSIA law, foreign states can be held liable in the U.S. where property rights and international law are violated. The Appeals Court found that the applicants presented insufficient proof to trace the proceeds from property expropriated more than a century ago to present-day property owned by Germany in New York. While not disputing the merits of the case, the court dismissed it solely on lack of subject matter jurisdiction and encouraged the plaintiffs to use another avenue to seek recourse other than the U.S. court system. It's now back to the drawing board for these communities to plan on their next move. Jeff Tashihomino, NBC News, Vendok.